Ben Sebastian here, curator of the Sonic Symphonic Podcast, composer of the Callison series albums, and you see that rather ill-looking chap up there. Uh, that's going to be spitting out flies, which is uh, going to be a bit of an epic uh, thing that I'm putting out later this year. But what am I doing here today? Well, of course, I'm bringing you some music, and uh, uh, it's quite an esteemed uh, pairing here. Um, so we've got uh, a gentleman called Douglas Wolf Reed, and uh, he says it might be interesting to you that uh, that he made the uh, earliest recordings of Metallica when they were teenagers. Uh, um, this is when Dave Mustaine, you know, Megadeth, uh, and Cliff Burton bass were in the band. Uh, he says he goes way way back, but uh, this is a tale of a seasoned USA media guy. Um, you know, that would be Douglas himself hooking up with what he describes as a monster the talent uh, in the form of one Ole Andrievsky and I hope I got didn't bungle the uh, pronunciation there from the Ukraine and the, and uh, the, the two of us we sort of became sort of friends and uh, were collaborating whilst the war in Ukraine raged and uh, yeah they've produced this album it's called Vi Visual Music uh, it's kind of symphonic rock and uh, he's uh, recommended that uh, uh, I give the uh, the first track uh, a, a listen to the first track's called Pursuit, um, as that kind of fits most into the metal genres. Um, although you know, I'm a, I'm a lover of symphonic rock, um, you know, uh, and, and and prog rock and, and and all sorts. So you know, I'm really interested. Uh, he sent over some album notes in the in the form of quite a, a very uh, uh, nicely put together um, PDF. And you know, I'm going to take the time to actually read this. So, so apologies, you'll see a lot of my side as I. Um, uh, as I read this, but uh, yeah, I, I could, couldn't not tell the story, so bear with me. So, visual music, maybe if it helps, move my microphone, there we go, stay, that's better. Visual music is a release of dramatic instrumental music. Some viewers will know that I, uh, my first three albums, Callison albums, they're all predominantly uh, instrumental. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I see nothing wrong with instrumental music. I absolutely adore it. Um, today, it is possible to interact with musicians and artists from all over the world through online applications and tools. This is a stunning revelation from an artistic standpoint. There are exceptional musicians and artists everywhere that can be fully engaged as high quality participants and contributors without leaving your studio or take it home or on its travels. Uh, is it expensive? No. Ole Andrievsky from the Ukraine has, uh, from Kiev, um, has become my collaborator on this new body of work. Uh, he found him through an online resource center for creatives and creativity and uh, he uh, had a true sense of what the music was trying to do, be a cross between movie soundtracks and rock musics, all being instrumental. His musicality and proficient skill set allowed him to add dimensional uh, uh, and oh, sorry to add dimension and colour to the music that is uniquely his own, but integral to the sound and intent of the music. We became kindred friends together. We sent musical compositions back and forth through the internet and slowly we shaped the collection of music. We never examined where we were going, we just produced good or not, it's all about the process. So many nuggets of wisdom here um, to be to be taking away. Um, it's all about the process. Just weeks into our working together, the Russians invaded Ukraine and ever since, Ole has been working under war conditions. I mean, that's fucking, excuse my French. You know, it's not on, is it? You know, it, these, you'd never think to see this in your lifetime. And I'm sure this has been this, the, the echoes of many a generation. Um, but, you know, um, I was I was in a prison when, when everything broke out and absolutely heartbreaking. And, uh, and it's still going on now, you know, and I'm very fortunate but uh you know i managed to work my life out when there are thousands hundreds of thousands of people displaced and affected and families that will never reunite you know there's been people lost to this absolute misery and destruction ultimately caused by, I think, one man's bent ego. 
continuing. Um, at times, Ole could not work on anything as there might not be power, food, water, heat, or he just stayed safely in the basement with his family for days at a time. And this is, this is a hard read. Ultimately, other musicians from around the globe were included and they too provided additional colours and unique dimensions that further confirmed why I am so addicted to music. I mean, I share your addiction, my friend. I really, really do. I decided to put out this body of work because of its unique origin and distinct time frame, and it's a milestone in my creative journey. I'm so looking forward to pushing play. I really am. I do consider that all art forms come from an inspired place beyond our control. We as artists must practice our craft enough to somehow gain a smidgen of access into the cosmic home of art. Ah. And I lost my place. I apologise for the notification. Um, the noises. Uh, without a doubt, art is a gift and we humans are but translators and transmitters of art into this world. It does not matter how others perceive or accept your art. It matters only that one finishes their individual artwork so that I, they, we can learn from the completed work and hopefully gain more access into art. Again, so much, so much wisdom there. I mean, yeah, music does come from a, a place so we just can't really define. Um, for me, maybe it's it's a it, it was a something that I just took to. I started tinkering around on a piano when I was four, and some observer said, "Well, I had a nice touch to it, you know." And uh, and there began my addiction with these black and white keys, you know. And uh, and I suppose it became a sort of a, a coping strategy um, for the traumas and vicissitudes of my childhood and it probably still is a <laughs> a coping strategy for not only that but for everything else um and you know after putting putting the art down putting the music down and pursuing more readily acceptable um kind of life paths you know real jobs looking after girlfriends you know doing what was expected of me you know trying to work my way up to buy the house and the car which i never really truly did you know uh that the absence of the music does does leave you open to self-destructive maladaptive coping strategies and behaviors and uh, and it can get very unpleasant very quickly and one of my kind of things to obviously going back and doing what I'm doing and now doing kind of all of this kind of podcasty type review -y type stuff you know that it keeps me sane it, it it gives me purpose and one of the messages that I always try to drive is is if you know if, if I can kind of help one person feel recognized enough to continue investing in the talent that is innately then and theirs um then and, and and that helps them kind of deal with the you know the, the the tug of war that is you know dealing with the pain of life uh, uh, and whilst trying to seek out something pleasurable then if i can help the one person look you do that in some sense then then that's perhaps something that could be considered meritorious and that only not only just helps me forgive me from from my misdeeds and 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 and, and my poor judgments and, and and the times when I've fallen off the path. But um, uh, you know, maybe it creates something good for someone else and stops them kind of doing the going down that path myself. Um, you know, uh, completely going off track here. But uh, yeah. Um, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what people think of what you've done. Providing you're becoming better at what you're doing, take aim at something. You know, you could, as a musician, let, let's, 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 let's unwrap what that might look like. Um, so, you know, you, you can create a song, for example, 
and you know maybe you don't have the budget maybe you don't have the tech but you know but you you do it anyway and uh you get a sense of fulfillment and and you listen back to it and you think oh i should have spent more time on it or whatever you take aim at something um whether it's the genre whether it's what you're doing whether it falls us off the non-musicianship like maybe doing a video or a podcast or something like that you take aim at something and then you'll aim uh, and you, you move towards that and then your aim will get slightly better as you become more experienced and you, you might go from there go ahead and i want to do this and go that way and then you actually oh, well actually i'll do this 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 time i'll do this or or then a collection of the bits you've done here become a, an idea or a conceptualized framework for a project that you're now going to go do over there so you're sharpening your abilities not only sort of technically but you're you're sharpening your discipline um you, you, you you're sharpening your, your self confidence um and uh yeah it, it it matters only that one finishes their individual artwork so that they can learn from their completed work and hopefully gain more access into our uh like i feel there's a whole podcast interview already just on the basis of you know the, the, these nuggets of wisdoms and and you know this 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 you know introductory notes for of, of the album um and yeah i probably would go even so far to say to include you know an interview with the with the pair of you perhaps you know would be really really insightful um you know given the experiences you've both been through um anyway let me carry on reading uh <laughs> 11 we're 11 minutes in there's no music yet but you know i like this i this is this is nice curveball this is something different um an apology is in order he says because he says I, I simply cannot get away from the pieces of music that end up epic no this is not mainstream popular music it's an eclectic collection of music pieces that each tell or convey a specific story or environment i think of them as paintings or canvases that employ notes colors timing and technique to purposely transport the listener away from their daily routine many tell me it's the best music for the road oh man okay so like i have to send you a link to my band to my band camp and uh you know maybe have a listen to like callus in two or callus in three um because i get told this a lot with my with my music um this collection rather defies categorization in popular music terms because each piece of music lies somewhere between a song and a story without words <laughs> a potent and exciting area of exploration and discovery oh man you know the, the synergy syner, the synergism or the synergistic qualities or, or or kind of modalities between us i think might 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 um it might make for interesting discussion absolutely being a forward thinker that is infatuated with new technologies and fresh intriguing ways of communicating with people this album represents a milestone in um my creative journey one must consider that i am a video media producer by trade and films are what i focus on M music but music is my unconquerable passion ditto absolutely ditto um uh besides writing the pieces i played guitar keys drums bass samples and a massive amount of technology well what an open honest and bountiful um kind of introduction to the album and introduction to august wolf i, I know there's previous releases and stuff out, out there um i haven't had the opportunity to, to to listen to any of it so this is completely fresh of my mind but i'm i'm already hooked on you guys as individuals just through uh this synopsis and introduction so okay so track one from the album is what we're going to focus on um it's interesting in this little pdf there's like a, a page and a piece of art for absolutely every um every track but uh uh track one is called pursuit uh as a kind of sort of a tagline under it which refers to it as a couple of minutes of mayhem so Oli adriewski from the ukraine on electric guitar a guy called marco toba from argentina on bass and uh, uh and and of course doug reed a usa <laughs> everything else um okay the time has come let's push play i suppose right. i think i'll place my microphone back there 
All right, so the bit we've all been waiting for. Uh, okay, I'm just showing my complete unprofessionalism while I find my downloads folder. Okay, and uh, we go with track one, Pursuit. See, first note in, I'm... This is the annoying thing about doing these track reviews. It's one track, it's a couple of minutes, and I want to share the like the rest. I wanna just I wanted to keep on going with that. Um that was exactly what it said here, a couple of minutes of mayhem. Uh I I love I love that. I love that. Uh it's just I'm absolutely lost the words. That 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 could have been fleshed out and be a, like i i'd happily listen to that for like 10 minutes that could have oh oh man that's such a shame but it's just that what one, one track that I'm, I'm 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 doing here um and one of the first things i'm going to do after my studio session today is sit down and give this give this the airing but it uh, it undoubtedly deserves but as an ad as a taster as an introduction to an album and as an introduction to a fantastic back you know backstory of this you know seasoned kind of you know musician um and then you know the, the forging of a friendship um and, and uh, uh, another individual involved with immense uh, talent under the pressures of war uh, i mean how is this not going to do well? Um, look, I hope it's been enough of a taster. I hope it hasn't been too much of a talky-talky video because it's. I can see you know, already we're on uh, approaching sort of twenty minutes here, uh, and, and it's been uh, surrounded by two minutes of music. Um, but hey, look, Douglas, I'd love to talk to you, uh, Ole. I'd love to. Uh, Ole, I'd love to talk to you, um, providing you know you like me if I've pronounced your name <laughs> correctly or not. Um, uh, man, fantastic musicianship, fantastic musicianship. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away, blown away. This is such a surprise for my inbox. I would say that it's the surprise of the year so far. Um, 
I, I'm I'm really chuffed and like thank you for being in 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 touch and and thanks for putting all this together and it's it's masterful absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant I'm so excited I can't wait for this video to go out and I can't wait to get some feedback and I can't wait to get some conversation going and if you guys like that I look um yeah I'm I'm a bit of a loss um. Uh, to where where to put sort of links and and, and stuff because you know I'm not uh, uh, entirely sure when this full album is uh, is, is coming out and available on all, all streaming that there is no information that um I, I, there's no information I can I, I I could draw upon um but uh, I I will uh, I will do a little Google um. For, uh, for 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 Douglas Wolf Reed, uh, I'm sure he has a website. Um, but I found a Spotify. Uh, I'll find what I can and stick it below. Uh, and uh, and if you if you guys, uh, both of you, uh, Ollie and, and, and Douglas, um, if you've got any links do you want to add, I will tag them in the video like you know, afterwards. But yeah, that, that's so exciting. Ah, oh, right, video over, done. Thank you so much, guys.